The primary advantage to a planted embankment, in this case a willow um, clay embankment, is the aesthetics. When you're walking down the beach on a beautiful beach like uh, Cannon Beach, for example, you see a lot of riprap and that's always been a, in public opinion not a uh, beautiful site. In this case here, uh, just like a, a planted riprap, the vegetation co covers up your mechanical portion of your embankment and it just looks much more pleasing to the, to the eye as you're, as you're approaching it. Uh, for the homeowner, it's also a nice landscape feature as opposed to just having a simple rock in front of their, their home, especially in an environment like this on the beach. As far as cost goes, the costs are relatively the same as if you were to construct with riprap. And in some cases, it may be cheaper uh, depending on availability of material. If the homeowner were to have the clay material on hand that could be used from the site and a source of willows nearby, it could possibly be cheaper than riprap. This particular project has been in place for three years. Um, during the time uh, that it was constructed, the beach was experiencing quite a bit of erosion. The sand was not present on the beach. Since that time, the, the winter of 2000-2001, when the erosion uh, first started becoming more significant here, the um, sand has been re-accreting and there has not been any substantial storm events like we saw in those winters to cause the kind of erosion that we are seeing here before. So even though this site's been in place for three years and ex has experienced uh, minimal uh, damage impact on the, on the structure or the vegetated uh, slope, um, it's no guarantee that it's going to hold up through a very large winter where waves can overtop an embankment like this. Um, nor will riprap uh, guarantee that you will not have to do repair on the embankment. Uh, riprap does fail also.